So let's check. F zero is what? Three times zero minus zero squared plus two. The answer is a two. Yeah. Then F of three, it is three three is a nine minus nine plus two. The answer is still a two. Yeah. And F negative three, so negative nine negative nine plus two is a negative sixteen. Then F negative 7 is uh, 7, 7, 7, 3 is a 21, 7, 7 is a 49, and then a plus 2, so 9, 1, 10, and then 4, 5, 6, 7. So plus 2, it is a negative 68. And F 3 by 2, now see, better, F 3 by 2 will become what? 3? Wait, 7, wait, 20, minus 21. Hmm. Oh. Got it? Have 21. I have 27. Oh, seven. Seven threes are is 21. Now see, this one, look at the fraction one. Is it clear? Wait, three times three by two minus six two. So it's just equals to nine by two. So now, I what is it? Okay. It is this written in a different format, but it actually means. Okay. Okay. Find the value of. Okay, let's check the answers. Okay. So first one is a g of zero. So zero. Oh, g of one. So 1 minus 4 upon 1 is nothing but 1 minus 4. That is equal to negative 3. Take it? Yes. Then g of 4 is equal to 4 minus 4 upon 4. 4 and 4 cancels. It becomes 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. And then g of negative 1 is equals to negative 1, negative 4 upon negative 1. That can be written as negative into negative becomes a positive. So it becomes a negative 1, positive 4. That is equals to 3. I'll have to switch my video for a while because the pen is running away from me. Okay. Yeah. With the pen... I think your one should cover like the mouse. Yeah. If it does, then, then you, you have no problem. Yeah. So then G is negative 4. So negative 4, negative 4 upon negative 4. Negative into negative is a positive. So positive 1. So the answer is a negative 3. Now, now G of, now it is a negative fraction. Four. Mm -hmm. Which means negative 4. Okay. See, this negative into this negative is a positive. Okay. And 4, 4 cancels, it is 1. That means we need to practice more of fraction. Yeah, because it's a minus 1. Okay. Now see, how I'll write this one. Denominator basically means divide. So I wrote it as a division sign. Now negative into negative is a positive. And if I convert the division into multiplication, it becomes a 2 upon 1. So it becomes a negative half plus 4 to the 8. So it becomes negative 1 plus 16 upon 2. That is a 15 upon 2. Okay. okay. So shall we go ahead to the next question? Yes. Okay, because we have not done it ever. Now, F2 means the value of X is 2. Yes. Okay. Now, when the value of X is 2, what is the value of Y? 1. 1. Perfect. So answer is 1.
now the value of x is 3. Now the value of x is what? 3. Okay. So now let's go to x is 3. So this is my x3. So what is my value for y? Minus 1. Shabash. Now fx is 4 means y is 4. y is 4 here. See, this is y4. So what is the value for x? F equals 4, then x. But in 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 four there isn't. Uh, there will be a negative four because it is on the left hand side of the graph, left hand side of the origin. Oh, okay. Uh, which, which question are we going to look for? B part. B four. part. Yeah, B part because if x is four. X is not four. X is not four. F x is four. Means oh, y yeah, is x. four. Okay. Okay. okay? Okay, now in the next question, we will have to use in some of the places a plus b whole square. Okay, now what is a plus b whole square identity? It is an a square plus b square plus 2ab or we may need to use the identity a minus b whole square that is an a square plus b square minus 2ab. I'm not understanding. Like in this question. In this question, instead of x, what do you have to use? a plus 3. Yeah. Achha, we don't have to use. Nothing, nothing. Just go ahead. Do it simply. I'm just moving it upwards. In this, we don't use it. So instead of x, put an a the way it is given and just solve. So instead of a number, a variable is given. Why are you putting the equal sign? We don't need the equal sign. f of a is equals to, instead of x, we just put an a. f of negative a would become 7 minus 3 and the instead of x, a negative a. So, negative into negative is a positive. Okay. Now, f of a plus 3. So, instead of, instead of x, we will put a plus 3. So, it will become 7 minus 3a minus 9. 7 minus 9 is a negative 2. So, negative 3a, negative 2. Now, you put instead of x, you put a b minus 1. So 7 minus 3 into b minus 1. So it will become a 7, negative 3b, negative into negative positive. So it will become a 10 minus 3b. Okay. Now you do e and f. Yeah, okay, let's check. So it is an f. And that is an x plus 2. So it will become a 7 minus 3. x plus 2. That will be a 7 minus 3x minus 6. That would be 1 minus 3x. Yeah. And then f x plus h. 7 minus 7 minus 3 x plus h would be equals to 7 minus 3x minus 3h. That's the answer. Yes. Right, Shabash. Now the next one. No, not this one. Not this one. This one. Now, if I look at the first one, x has yeah. become an x plus 4. Yeah. So it will become twice x plus 4, the whole square, plus 3, x plus 4, negative 1. 
Now we are going to use the algebraic identity a plus b whole square. a plus b whole square is an a square plus a b square plus a 2ab. And we are going to open this bracket. It will become a 3x plus 3 fours are 12, negative 1. Now we are going to open this bracket. 2x square plus 32 plus 16x plus 3x. Yes, we, 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 I also, I also have done this, but I don't know. I think it has a different name. What, what is the different name? I don't know. Uh, this is basically an algebraic identity okay yeah, like, so it becomes a 43 so yeah. that is what i was talking about a moment ago so a plus b whole square is what it is an a square plus a b square plus a 2ab and a minus b whole square would be an a square plus a b square minus 2ab. Okay. okay. So it is what it is f. Okay. And f it is 2 minus x. Okay. So 2 minus x that would be equals to 2. 2 minus x whole square plus 3 2 minus x negative 1 okay now now you use your a minus b whole square now when you do an a minus b whole square it is an a square plus a b square minus 2 a b you open the second bracket, 3 2 is a 6, minus 3x, negative 1. Now you open this bracket, 8 plus 2x square, minus 8x, plus 6, minus 3x, minus 1. Now rearrange them, 2x square, minus 8x, minus 3x, will become a minus 11x. And 8 plus 6 is a 14, minus 1 is a 13. Okay. Okay. Now, now do the C part, D part, E part and F part. The equation. Here, this, uh, the, you are doing which one? The C uh, part. Yeah. So f of minus x would be a 2. Instead of x, it is a negative x square. Instead of an x, it is a negative x, negative 1. So negative x square would be a positive x square. Positive into negative, open the bracket. And the answer is a 2x square minus 3x minus 1. Okay? Yes. Now, instead of x, you have put, to put x square. So, I am doing all the questions. Okay. So, it will become what? 2 instead of x. Yeah. x square square. Yeah. Plus 3x square. Minus yeah. 1. Also, so, from how, how? Huh? You are getting 3x squared. Because instead of x, what do we have to write now? x squared. Okay. Now do the e and the f part. Okay. Let's check. So it is an f x square minus 1. So instead of x square it will be an x square minus 1 whole square plus 3 x square minus 1 and a minus 1, right? Yes. 
So now we solve it. Now we are going to solve it. And what will happen is, in this, we use the a minus b whole square. That would become an a square plus b square minus 2ab plus 3x square minus 3 minus 1. Now this becomes 2x to the power of 4 plus 2 minus 4x square plus 3x square minus 3 minus 1. Now let's rearrange and solve it. 2x to the power of 4 minus, so not 4, minus 1x square and then a negative 2. Can you give me some paper for this for your question? Yeah, we'll do more and more of it. Yeah, definitely more practice. More practice on this. Okay. So we we will connect again on Monday. Okay. Now I have to rush to my other class. And what I'll try to do is I'll try to upload an assignment on your app. Yes. Okay. Chalo then. Bye bye. Take care. See you. Okay.